Hello, in this video we will talk about the great new capability uh, available with uh, recent release uh, 2022 refresh 2. Still in technology preview, but it uh, shows the power of server-side simulation, which is available already with the 2022 version for a couple of refresh releases. So in this release, we have uh, ability to execute uh, SysML model on server-side accessible as FMU. So you can actually generate FMU from SysML model. And uh, here we have a configuration file for simulation, right? So for example, here is the model uh, block uh, with some constraint blocks used uh, to calculate. Uh, here we have one input, another input, and we have result, right? Uh, and that model also includes some behavior side, like here, because like FMU is behavior-based simulation, so we can have also behaviors, uh, and we should have behaviors for the FMU. So as you can see here, state with the time interval. And then we can uh, create config, simulation config, as uh, normally would create, you know, you choose what to execute, like block, right? Uh, with inputs or maybe an instance uh, here we have an instance with initial values of that system we can also have this one here executed so it will input some initial values and then you specify also what are the input parameters and output parameters of this fmu so here we have select parameters config right so let's say input and then you choose uh, your context like a and then you choose go here and you choose what values are the inputs so like for example a we can choose uh, a and b okay so those will be inputs it was just an a right okay i will delete this one and here we can take it and drag it on this one and it will assign uh, watch properties no it's not correct let's double click on this config uh, and let's choose this uh, execution config input and we will assign it to the expert uh, output parameters input parameters so here input goes to input parameters and now output parameters let's say so ah, okay you see we have already output uh, output is okay we have already this config and when you associate, so when we execute this one, it will know what are the inputs and what are the outputs. So now we can right click on simulation config, go to simulation, generate FMU. As you see, this is new menu item, but between this one is available only when you use uh, uh, teamwork server project, because that server will be used also to uh, execute that FMU, right? So we choose generate FMU. Here you can specify where your FMU will be located. Uh, I can pick the, for example, uh, uh, documentation uh, documents. And then I need to specify FMU name, say A2. I can specify what type of the operating system will be supported. I can do Windows and Linux in this version. No uh, Mac, as you can see, which uh, is still technology preview, so limitations will be removed uh, and the FMU parameters so I could include server side like simulation side uh, FMU uh, uh, execution server so here we have this uh, server which will run this FMU once we will uh, embed it into another model and also I can include credentials like as your password and as you can see here those credentials are not encrypted for now so you could actually you need pretty much to create limited uh, capabilities account on your teamwork server which would be used to execute pretty much uh, simulations not to access the project and then we click generate if we would not fill those da that data so those would become as the parameters which string parameters which would need to embed generate Okay, as we can see, FMU was successfully generated. We can go to that uh, location here in documentation. We see this is that FMU available here. 
right now um, let's switch to the Neve project to start using this FMU so we can actually create this uh, project and actually before going there we need to check the time properties so here in the in simulation config timing properties you see I specified 0 4 uh, end time and then step size 1 and time unit seconds why is that because uh, I want that this FMU would uh, would have uh, uh, time characteristics because it executes over time. So we need to we need to be able to run this FMU, uh, uh, and I can change like for example that it would run like longer. That we need to run this FMU and uh, uh, and uh, see characteristics change over time. Okay, close, and I could regenerate this uh, simulation generator. Um, or maybe it doesn't matter for now. So now I will go to the new project. And that can be standalone project. We don't need to have Teamwork Cloud project. It could be also not a uh, uh, SysML project. That could be a Modelica project, could be Simulin, could be Daimola, which would use this FMU, right? So this FMU is now available. It is reusable with access to SysML model, which executes on the server side. But for the demonstration purposes, I will create block diagram. I will take this FMU and will drag it here. So you see now I got parameters which are going to be visualized as a ports. So in most cases, flow ports are the main uh, you can also use proxy ports. Um, and here we have it. And now I can put it part of the system, like system here system and to make it uh, executable and make it the system executable and why I did that part of the system because I want to have a couple of value properties like uh, a and uh, string uh, and then B and string again and why is that uh, because I want uh, to have uh, to have inputs so those will be not strings actually real 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 and here we have uh, input uh, 100 and another input 500 so that's my my inputs and uh, i need some parametric diagram to create a parametric equation wizard uh, Maybe no equation with that, maybe just create diagram and parametric diagram and then show those inputs here. Okay, and I add binding connectors that those would come to FMU. Okay, very simple. And now I need uh, simulation config. Simulation config. Uh, run FMU. I drag this one system and specify the timing properties so those timing properties could be similar 0 4000 uh, that I would see how FMU executes and step uh, size 1 and that was seconds and pretty much that's it now I can execute this uh, model and this FMU which has pointer to the server side SysML model will execute together so here we, we are running I will get a connection to the server, which takes a second, right? And you see here are the inputs, and here is the result. So in this version, we have a limitation which allows you to execute your once per simulation session FMU, but uh, uh, that also can be created as a loop in other tools like Simulink, Modelica, you can get result with input values and uh, execute this FMU again and get results again, you know, and uh, that can be used for multiple purposes. So to now uh, let's go to more details what it takes uh, to use this new capability. So here are a few, uh, few detailed slides. So what we get actually, we get this ability to execute FMU on server side from complete SysML model. So we actually build this model covering uh, all the diagrams. 
it uh, includes uh, uh, activity, uh, state, uh, parametric block, same as you would simulate the SML model uh, locally, you can actually simulate it on server side and it can be wrapped with this uh, FMU generated as you saw, like just single click. And this is much simpler workflow automation. This SML model runs on server side, better collaboration. So you don't need to install a rich client even to execute as SML model can add into another environment where the users used to MATLAB and Dimola and it's better user experience. So what's the process? So you need for this uh, to work install uh, java development kit which is available for free if you here install it uh, add path to that development kit to the environment variables uh, uh, you can find those environment variables here edit the system environment variables and here edit variables and then here is the java uh, java path java home where you will install your uh, jdk Again, download it from here and then generate FMU. So FMU can have embedded credentials to that server or you can leave them not specified and you will have those as a flow properties. Again, uh, you need to have them as a flow properties, not parameters and input them as a strings like a username, para password and server for simulation. And then execution is as teamwork server certificate. So that teamwork server should be 22 refresh 2 with the at least one license for simulation toolkit and when you install it please uh, specify the checkbox that enables server-side simulation and uh, certificate you can get uh, directly from the web uh, here browser when you go to that server site uh, here then here and then details and uh, export certificate uh, and then uh, for the usage of certificate, uh, uh, go to go to the uh, Windows uh, Manage User Certificates, uh, and uh, here Personal Certificates, All Tasks, Import New Certificate. So the certificate for that teamwork server and then uh, add generated FMU in your model and execute that will work uh, out of the box. Now, what are the limitations? So FMU is not standalone. It is the exec or Linux uh, uh, version uh, of the depending on operating system of FMU uh, compiled to call the server side SML model execution. But that, that also gives like a lot of advantages, right? It's complete model execution, right? So for now, single iteration of FMU is executing during simulation. So you need to rerun FMU with another inputs if you want to get other results. Uh, you need to create limited rights teamwork cloud server uh, to a rendered uh, simulation because the server uh, uh, like uh, login and passwords uh, uh, are needed because fmu will be executed in some other environment right which will need to call teamwork server so you need to provide that but that's kind of uh, maybe the best solution for now and then fmu can be used on windows and linux no mac version supported yet um, and again, it's technology preview, but uh, it's fully functional. You can use with all those limitations and uh, see how that can be applied. More information is available on web. As always, documentation is here. We listed uh, basic steps and hope that it helped. And you can start using server size simulation, which is actually getting bigger and bigger. As you see, more capabilities are available and we'll do more videos on that topic. Uh, also, you can control what is running on server side. So if you see, for example, that uh, your server simulations takes longer and uh, you want to control them in more uh, details, so you can go to the Cameo Collaborator, Task Manager, Simulations, and there is no simulation hanging, but you would see all the simulations available here. So this is big development moving forward and uh, the server-side simulation is the future 
for us uh, and hopefully the enabler for more advanced simulations connecting covered discipline simulations and models. Thank you.